Caspian whip snake is considered as a common species throughout its southeast European range, but on the northwestern border of its distribution, it occurs in small, isolated populations. Therefore, it is strictly protected in Hungary. In the frame of a Hungarian-Austrian collaboration, an international team from the Hungarian Natural History Museum and the University of Veterinary Medicine Vienna attempted to research the genetic structure of the remaining Caspian whipsnake populations. To shed light on the explanatory environmental variables behind the learned patterns using innovative genomic and analytical methods. We collected 124 snake samples from nine different countries and we used, for example, the shedded skin to extract DNA and we uh, applied the most current up-to-date technologies of next generation sequencing to generate thousands of genetic markers over the complete genomes of the Caspian whip snakes. And we were interested in the population structure, in the demographic history of the snakes, and also how they adapt to different environments. The analysis of the sequence data tells us an interesting story. The evolutionary history of the Caspian whip snake has been shaped by the repeated climatic fluctuations of the last two million years populations survive the extreme cold conditions in one or more glacial refugia, somewhere in the Balkan Peninsula. And when the climate became more favourable, the Caspian whip snakes recolonised Europe and Western Eurasia. Here they differentiated into eight different genetic groups, one on the central Balkan Peninsula, one comprising the populations in the northern and eastern Balkans plus the western Anatolia, one in Crimea and Bessarabia, one in the Aegean Sea, for example, Samos Island. In Hungary, most of the populations belong to the Danube genetic group, but a separate genetic group has been differentiated in the Vilain Mountains in South Hungary. This pronounced genetic pattern within the Carpathian Basin could be explained by the extreme habitat fragmentation of the last 200 years that isolated the populations along the Danube into small patches. The population from Pest Hidek could show the genetic separation from the rest of the nearby populations from Buddha Hills, which belong to the Danube group. As the Pest Hidek could samples show, the closest similarity with North Macedonian samples, recent translocation by humans, might be an explanation. But that population was definitely created in a different time period than the others nearby. Similarly, human introduction from the central Balkan Peninsula explains the genetic origin and similarity of two Croatian islands, Lastovo and Olib. With the help of these genome-wide analyses, we were able to correlate uh, the genes under selection with the local environmental parameters associated with wind and uh, temperature. To do this, we looked for those environmental parameters that define the present distribution of the species. We find the highest correlation between the genotypes and isothermality. Isothermality is basically the ability of the animal uh, to cope with uh, daily or annual temperature oscillations. The research through this bilateral collaboration has helped us learn a lot about the evolutionary history of this interesting snake. But there is still a lot to do. The team continues to work and plans to analyse more samples in order to refine the snake's genetic structure, which will be useful for nature conservation not only in Hungary, but across Europe, hopefully contributing further to the protection of the Caspian whip snake.